Yeah. Thank you, Mathieu, for being here. Uh, we talk about opening the vault, uh, opening the bank insurance. Yes. Thank you very much. Please have a warm welcome for you. Thank you. Don't applaud too much. <laughs> Still have to start speaking. Um, Hello, good morning. My name is uh, Mathieu Nering. I'm a business innovation manager in the Open and Beyond Bank Insurance team of KBC. The next uh, 20, 25 minutes, I'm going to talk a little bit about who is KBC, um, how we came to our new strategy of uh, open banking. But as we are an integrated bank insurer, it's an open bank insurance strategy. And we also want to go a bit further than just open bank insurance. So it's open and beyond bank insurance. Uh, where we are today in terms of APIs, API portals, and the key takeaways of uh, uh, the team that was created about one year ago, what did we learn in the, in the past uh, one year. Starting with a little quiz question of the day, raising hands, who knows KBC? Appa, we want to pay you five euro afterwards then. Um, who are we for the ones that do not know? Uh, a Belgian bank uh, starting in the 1990s uh, with the merger of a Belgian bank, two Belgian banks and a Belgian insurer. Then in the start of the years 2000, we had international expansion towards uh, Eastern Europe. So we have uh, quite some presence there in, uh, for example, Czech Republic, uh, market share of 20, 25%, Hungary, Slovakia and Bulgaria as well. In all of these countries, we are an integrated bank insurer uh, sixth core country is Ireland, where we have a purely digital proposition in, in banking, so not uh, insurance there. Uh, important to know, and that's uh, important for the rest of the slide deck as well, um, our clients are retail clients, private banking clients, but also uh, um, small uh, companies and, uh, and mid-cap uh, corporate clients. So we have a, a vast panel of uh, clients that we are facing. Um, with approximately 40,000 employees. Um, we're quite a good bank, um, quite some awards uh, lately. Also, Johan Thijs, our CEO, who is uh, in the Harvard C100, the first in terms of financial services, uh, gets that award because of the digital transformation that they did with the, with the group the past years. But also uh, um, digital agencies such as D-Rating or Finalta, that's uh, KBC, in terms of digital transformation, in terms of digital innovation, we are a leader in, uh, in the sector. So as a more or less leader in the sector, uh, how do we look at open banking and open bank insurance? Uh, uh, the past years have been uh, as, uh, uh, trying to imitate it on the, on the picture, quite a calm sea. Uh, there were some waves in the sense of uh, as a traditional bank or bank insurer, uh, yield curves are quite about everything to gain money as a, as a bank. Uh, the better that the yield curve is uh, going up, uh, steep up, the more money that we can earn. Yields have been low to negative and uh, yield curves have been flat. So it was quite challenging for banks to uh, keep up uh, profit of being profitable with the normal business uh, that we could do. Regulation after the financial crisis 2008-2009, extra capital requirements. Um, um, MIFID II, for example, in the investment uh, banking uh, world. Of course, uh, we're all bank uh, and insure for our consumers, but that consumer um, has been evolving as well in the past years, uh, uh, changing customer behavior. That's even the most important one. Even though you have a, a great business model, if your customer is changing his behavior and you're not adapted to that changed behavior, then uh, from one day to another, your business can drop uh, as well. E-commerce is a driving force there. Uh, if you can expect that if I order a refrigerator today or this evening and tomorrow at eight o'clock, it's, uh, it can already be installed. Uh, you know that that's a physical process. If it goes about digital processes of banks, it's a bit odd that if I uh, request a mortgage loan, for example, that I have to wait two or three days uh, before I get a quote or a yes on that uh, mortgage application. So clients do not understand it. We have to adapt in terms of processes to that new reality. And digital revolution, uh, it's about digitizing processes, what we have been doing for the past years. It's not only digitizing what existed in the offline world, it's optimizing and innovating in that process in the sense that if you had in an offline world 40 questions to fill in uh, an application for a home insurance, that, uh, that's also um, what we did uh, last year or the year before. Um, it was questions about how many square meters is your uh, living space, for example, being 40 questions. Now we uh, limited it to two. Uh, what's your address? And then as of then, it starts and you get your quote. That's what, uh, what customers expect. So um, a bit steady state, um, little waves, 
and then came PSD2 2015 and for a bank as KBC that uh, was quite a challenging point as finally uh, it, uh, it was the start of innovation in the banking sector. Uh, uh, we were already uh, doing quite some innovation but that for the sector as a whole uh, was a starting point, a game changer, uh, being that the regulator stated in Europe that as a third party provider, if you have consent of your end client, yeah, you just give them the data and he can build uh, propositions on top of it. Uh, up to that point in time or up to today, we know who our competitors are, that are the traditional banks, the traditional bank insurers, but because of PSD2, in fact, uh, it's the, uh, the closed ecosystem that it was is getting opened. We have lots of new competitors. We might not even know that they are there yet or will be there uh, within here in a couple of years. But the, the thing is that it's about winning the battle for the client. Uh, it was a closed ecosystem. We had banking clients, insurance clients, and uh, we as a bank and a bank insurer. Uh, it was about having very good propositions, good digital processes, and if you could please your client, you could enter into long-term relationships with them, and he wasn't thinking about banking or uh, insuring uh, at another bank insurer. And now it's about other platforms that can pop up, that can claim the front end, so uh, the big risks for banks and for bank insurance is that you're a bit intermediated in terms of screen time. That uh, it's not about uh, having that person or that client on your mobile application, but that he banks on another application and that you are only a product provider for banking products and for insurance products via APIs. And then you're lucky that you're not fully intermediated. But finally, it's not about being intermediate. It's about winning the battle for the client, the battle for the customer. And that's why uh, two years ago we started um, updating our strategy, banking strategy, um, from uh, where we started in the, the blue dot about digitizing our bank insurance products, uh, but asking ourselves the question, um, if we want to win the battle for the client, actually that means two things, uh, that clients do have to keep on coming to our applications and we have to do that with very good bank insurance products but what if, isn't it, if it isn't about bank insurance or only bank insurance uh, anymore? Uh, so in terms of products and services, uh, last year we started um, uh, integrating third-party services into our mobile applications. So KBC more and more is taking the set of being or becoming a platform in order to attract uh, customers and that they stay with us. Uh, KPIs put on it of uh, X time per day that they have to visit our mobile application, not only for bank insurance products and transactions, but for a lot more, uh, more to come in the past or the, the, the next minutes. So that's one X. The other X is uh, yeah, the uh, API economy. Uh, if we have good products, good services, um, even models based on the data that we have of our customers, it's a bit stupid that we only would keep it for ourselves and there we follow the customer. Uh, if we are getting intermediated and we know, for example, in parallel processes, uh, customers that are buying a house, customers that are buying a bike, uh, it's a bit odd that if you are in a local bike shop, that at that point in time you're making a decision to buy something and that uh, did you? I could uh, have a uh, credit or a bike insurance for it the next day and that you have to go to a mobile banking application of your bank. Same with the house, same with everything that you buy. So we want actually to merge uh, those parallel processes and to be present in the uh, process that the customer is, uh, is having at that point in time. Um, so not about bank insurance anymore, but about open bank insurance, uh, other parties that can, um, third parties that can uh, offer uh, the bank insurance products of KBC, but also beyond bank insurance. It's not only about banking and insurance anymore. It goes far broader than uh, that. So our strategy uh, is about the three Bs. Uh, be personal and instant, because uh, again, the e-commerce and the refrigerator uh, clients do not want to wait anymore, uh, more than whatever, two, three days before they have an answer on a credit application. Be all in one app. We really want to be the platform in uh, our core markets with our application and be everywhere, uh, we want to follow where the customer is to stay relevant at that uh, point in time. Some examples, uh, be personal and instant, uh, like I already said, uh, we do not want to wait anymore for two, three days. Um, so uh, ABC customers, but also prospects uh, that we do not know, get a binding mortgage loan code within 10 minutes. If you look at the Belgian market, uh, competitors are at those two, three days. So that's uh, because we innovated the past years in the fact that the, to uh, being able to offer a, a binding mortgage loan code, you have to know a lot about your customer, KYC, so invested in that part of the process. 
you also have to know quite some things about the property that, is, that he is wanting to buy as there uh, is regulation in terms of loan to value that you can uh, offer to them. So it's about, uh, okay, you want to buy a house, but what do we think that, that uh, what, uh, what's the value of the house in fact? Also have processes running that's based on the simple process of address that you can say, okay, this is what we think that it is, so that's the maximum amount of credit that we can get. Tick the boxes and then 90% uh, uh, of all requests are uh, handled within 10 minutes in an uh, STP uh, process. Um, in the past, um, if as a banking or a bank insurance client, you just had to go to the branch and then uh, you could uh, ask your question. If you knew that there was something, someone in front of you, you just waited two, three minutes and then you went to the counter and asked your question. In a more digital world, it's a bit the one on uh, the one on one in a branch is getting a one on n on n on one uh, for uh, for yeah, chat centers or uh, or live centers, being that people do not know that. Then other people are calling, calling at the same time uh, to ask uh, more or less the same question. That's why in the past we uh, uh, we had quite some calls uh, and chats that we missed on time. Yeah, we had to recall the, the people uh, after 10 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever, uh, when the, the employee was uh, was ready. That's why we started um, thinking about chatbots, voice bots, first in internal processes, but now we're uh, integrating them more and more into uh, client-facing processes as well, <coughs> so that. Um, we can make our clients more happy that they do not have to wait uh, before. KBC Mobile, that's our uh, mobile application um, in Belgium. And like I already said, that's the be all in one uh, part of the strategy. Uh, not, in, not, not only about uh, banking and insurance products, but about uh, a lot more than that. And I added a little video. Oh, it's in Dutch, but that's a good test for the most of you. So small translation of what it said, the future is all in one and it's in one app being uh, more or less a platform. Um, rather than focusing on bank insurance, the first focus that we did was mobility. So Belgian customers can buy tickets for bus, for train. If they park with uh, their uh, car in a public parking lot, uh, they, we integrated the number, his number plate. So the lever just goes up if he sees that, uh, or if the parking lot sees that the KBC app in uh, a car is driving in and all uh, debiting of the cards or the, the accounts is done automatically. So it's about uh, not just integrating what already exists, but also putting a lever of, uh, of innovation on it that uh, customer experience is quite about everything. That's about all in one, about be everywhere. Uh, of course, if you say at opportunistic bankers, uh, you used to be doing bank insurance and now you can be doing everything. They are quite opportunistic and they want to be doing everything, so it's about focus at that point in time. So we focused, because uh, um, um, we selected a number of ecosystems uh, where we want to be present in, be it because we are, were already present in those ecosystems uh, in the past, uh, but that we also believe that because of uh, API economy that we can um, be a thriving force in the trends that are uh, coming up in those ecosystems. That's mobility, uh, what I just mentioned with the all-in-one app. That's housing, uh, because we have mortgages and so on. Uh, there, there's a big trend in Belgium, but I guess in the rest of the world as well. That uh, if you look at climate change, the uh, fact that there's a lot of uh, carbon dioxide that leaves houses as well, uh, about renovating houses. So a lot of investments that have to be made there. Uh, as a bank, we, can be, uh, we believe that we can uh, be a driving uh, force uh, to do that. 
Uh, energy, just the same thing. It's about uh, centralized production uh, in nuclear, gas, coal for the moment, but in the future it's more and more decentralized, local, renewable. Again, a lot of investments that have to be made uh, connecting uh, the dots. Again, KBC believes that at that point in time or in that role that we can uh, be a driving force. And financial management, of course, uh, normally people only look at banks at the last part of a process. I bought something. Can I have a credit? Can I have an insurance? But we want to be uh, further uh, or sooner in the decision-making uh, process of the, of the customer than we are uh, right now. Um, giving some examples of uh, Be Everywhere, what do we already do today? Um, and that's also linked to the fact that our uh, type of customer isn't, uh, isn't only one type of customer, be it uh, corporate clients that have IT departments that only can link, uh, that, are, that do know uh, very well how to link with APIs. Uh, we work together with SMEs, so um, SMEs, a local bike shop, do not say we have an API to, uh, to start offering bikes to your clients. What's an API and how can I connect? I, you need some IT, I don't have an IT, I only have a, a web shop or a website that I uh, created myself in half a day, uh, some sort of activities. So we really want to be there for all types of businesses, not only the big ones that can connect with APIs, so be everywhere at our end, it's really be everywhere. So we, uh, we change the type of integrator uh, depending on uh, the partner with whom we're talking to. So local bike shops um, that are offering uh, KBC uh, loans for bikes, KBC insurance for bikes in their shops uh, via just a, a manual leaflet. We put a QR code and a WhatsApp reference on it and there, uh, if clients want to, know, uh, want to buy a bike, but in their decision process, they're a bit linked to uh, can I get a credit or not. They just type the, uh, scan the QR code within two minutes. They have a simulation on their credit. They know if they are eligible to get a credit. And if so, yes, uh, what's the monthly repayment? Um, and uh, the feedback from the bike mer merchants is that they uh, sell more bikes that are worth more uh, because people know that they can uh, lend for, uh, for the, the purchase. Same for uh, housing. There, uh, our counterparts or partners are uh, more tech savvy, so it's uh, APIs, widgets. Uh, we connect. Uh, if you're looking at emo sites, if you look at a specific property that you want, and, uh, whatever it costs you, 400,000 euro, uh, the widget takes the 400,000 euro and says, okay, uh, for your um, personal uh, situation, what would a monthly instalment uh, mean? Same for uh, looking at entrepreneurs, whether they start a business uh, in Belgium, you need a business account as being part of the process to ask uh, business um, accreditation. So again, two parallel processes. I'm on one side for the government and I need to have a bank account better if you can merge those two processes. So as of uh, June, uh, in that process, uh, just creating creation of a business bank account at KBC is part of the external, to in our extension, uh, external process. Uh, but it's not only about uh, uh, um, putting processes that already exist, processes or products that already exist in the external world. We're also looking at co-creation of uh, new products because of the partnerships that we, uh, we are setting up. And for example, uh, um, on-demand financing or single invoice fi uh, financing or factoring is uh, an example of that. Uh, we all know factoring. The thing about factoring is that for companies is that it's always about a vast number of invoice that um, has to be uh, factored by uh, or pre-financed by the bank. You cannot decide on an individual, individual uh, invoice basis if this inv invoice can be financed or not. It's in fact the bank and the contract that decides. Uh, we got a lot of feedback that that's not that customer friendly or appropriate. So uh, we set up an API in which uh, clients can decide on an inv individual invoice basis if they need pre-financing uh, or not. So that's uh, four to five examples. There's more on the API portal already, but a lot more to come. Uh, now it's set one, uh, PSD two, then uh, the examples that I just gave in products that already exist uh, to step three co-creation, but we're looking into insights, data, and so on uh, as well. So uh, we have the ambition in Belgium to be uh, also in terms of open bank insurance being, uh, being the reference as we are with normal banking activities. How does our API market look like in terms of USPs vis-a-vis uh, -vis other um, <laughs> API portals? 
um, we really put the focus on the customer. And for us, the customer, it is the IT developer, but even more, the business developer that has to look at its processes, has to look at what uh, kind of new proposition can I give to my, um, my customers, my clients. So uh, it's, it's not the traditional IT developer portal that we uh, set up or will, set up, will be setting up uh, in the, the next few months. Uh, we want to put focus on the business developer so that he really understands uh, how uh, to integrate, why to integrate, what's in it for them, USPs per, uh, per API. Rich catalog, uh, not only PSD2, but far uh, beyond that. Not only APIs as well, as uh, our clients are not only digital IT savvy uh, corporate clients, but also that bike shop uh, on the corner. So it's about SDKs, QR codes, widgets, uh, and so on. And the service, uh, that's what uh, we encountered the past months as well, that we might be ready for open banking, but our partners are not yet uh, all of them. So it's about taking them into the journey um, as well. So uh, our API portal now focuses on the Be Everywhere part, but as I mentioned, uh, the Be All-in-One app, all integrations that we do with the mobility providers, for example, they're also API-based, of course, so uh, we also have the intention to put standard APIs and standard frameworks onto our API portal so that making connection with us to be integrated into KVC Mobile, that that goes more in a standardized way. Uh, and have the ambition, uh, if it can be said, to grow to a marketplace as well. Uh, where we are present in those five ecosystems. It would be great if the partners that we have in each of, that ecos of those ecosystems, that they, those APIs can be put on our API portal and uh, marketed in the same way as we do our own, our own um, APIs as well. Uh, to enter the top three learnings. Um, has already been stated a lot yesterday as well. Uh, um, if you want to be in open banking and open bank insurance, you have to look at yourself first. Uh, um, it's not about uh, motivating your partner to have a partnership if you do not know how to create an API, you do not have the governance, if you do not have a uh, top level at your institution that is really uh, willing to put it into the strategy and to into the, the implementation phase. So look at yourself. Look at your internal culture, look at your organization. Are you ready to be part of uh, open banking? Are you ready for partnerships um, or not? Second is know your partner. As stated already, not each partner is the same. There is not one size fits all. Uh, it doesn't fit at all. Uh, the one partner isn't the other one. So look at your partner, know your partner, and know that there's not one API that can serve all types of partnerships in the mobility sphere, for example. And third focus is master the process. It's not because you have the, uh, an API and that you have a, a partner that is willing to integrate that that one API will actually do what it, uh, what it is needed to do. So have a look at the process, do some service design on each integration that you do, uh, each important integration that you do, to actually uh, be, uh, be there and uh, that you can expect actual volumes rather than just actual integrations without volumes that, uh, that might appear. Okay. That, uh, that was, was KBC, of how KBC was looking at uh, open banking, open bank insurance. Thanks for uh, your attention. Uh, no, we started from what we, uh, in the phase that we are right now, we started with what we already have today. We look at partners and look at business propositions where what we have today in terms of services and pr uh, products can be of added value for them. Then we create together APIs so that we know that the API that we create that it can actually be implemented and work in his process after service design. Um, that's the phase that we are in right now. We are uh, wanting to be more into uh, ecosystem partnerships we c where we create new propositions together with, uh, with fintechs or with uh, uh, yeah, non-financial organizations. But that's more for the future than it already is today. Okay. Oh, Maxime. Uh, 
we very much look at service design. So it's, again, it's not only having sales on the road and saying we have an API portal and this API might be of good service for your proposition. Uh, are you willing to integrate? So yes, let's connect the developers so that they can integrate. Uh, we put service design uh, exercises on each process. And it's, uh, uh, we are uh, uh, in Belgium a rather big bank insurance, so we, ha we also have corporate relationship managers, SME relationship managers. They are in the, uh, in the story as well, so they uh, warm up their clients that might actually become our partners. If they are interested, then we go and set up the, the service design exercises. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.